students welcome to the e-learning series in the discipline of community medicine so in this course this will be the learning objective so at the end of this course you will become indian medical graduates and you will possess the requisite knowledge skill perception attitude and responsiveness to function as the physician of first contact in the community so let us just look into how this discipline of community medicine evolved. So in the early period, there was a Greek leader, Asclepius, who had two daughters, Hygieia and Panacea. So Hygieia was worshipped as the goddess of health. And this is the concept of the modern day preventive medicine. And Panacea was worshipped as the goddess of medicine, that is modern day curative medicine. So hygiene came from goddess Hygieia. And hygiene itself is a Greek word. It means soundness or wholeness. That implies wholeness of the body and keeping the body fit and sound. In the modern era, the concept of hygiene came into further focus and many terminologies developed. So of these, the most important ones are public health, preventive medicine and social medicine. So public health implies protection of health of the public. And this concept came into being with the great sanitary awakening that happened in England in the middle of the 19th century, whereby it was realized that sanitation played a very important role in maintaining health or causing disease. And the stalwarts of public health were Edwin Shadwick, John Snow, CEA Winslow and many others. Preventive medicine implies measures to be implemented for a large population for prevention of disease and promotion of health. So here also there were many stalwarts to develop preventive medicine that is James Lind, Edward Jenner, Louis Pasteur, Ronald Ross and many others. Social medicine came into being when it was realized that not only the physical environment, the social environment also plays a very important role in maintaining health, promoting good health and preventing diseases. So this implies individual's health as well as health of the society to which the individual belongs. And the stalwarts of social medicine were James Curran, Alfred Grogen and others. Currently three terms are in use that is public health, family medicine and community medicine. And there are postgraduate courses in these three disciplines. So public health focuses on environmental and social determinants of health. Family medicine is responsible for all health problems of the family and maintaining health of all the family members. And community medicine aims to achieve health promotion and disease prevention in the entire community. Both family medicine and community medicine are amalgamation of public health and clinical medicine. So family medicine is more of clinical medicine with some aspect of public health, while community medicine is implementation of public health practice along with primary level healthcare of clinical medicine. Community medicine is a vast discipline and there are several domains that come under the purview of community medicine. So we have our broad allied areas that is family medicine, public health, epidemiology. There are clinical subspecialties like social or community pediatrics, community obstetrics, community ophthalmology, preventive cardiology, preventive oncology, etc. Then there are some allied subjects, health related subjects that is health promotion, social sciences, behavioral sciences, human nutrition, environmental health, occupational health, etc. And there are some non-clinical subspecialties which also come under the ambit of community medicine that is health management, health economics, research methodology and biostatistics. So as you are all aware, Currently, the MBBS syllabus is following the competency-based medical education curriculum or CBME curriculum. So the CBME curriculum for undergraduate medical students was formulated in the year 2018 and it was first introduced in the admission year 2019. And this batch is due to appear for their third professional part one examination in the year 2022-23. So CBME curriculum of community medicine, it is spread over 20 topics with total 107 competencies. I will now give you a brief outline of this e-learning book on community medicine. In this book, the entire syllabus of community medicine is grouped under four sections. 
and each section has several topics and each topic is divided into several subtopics which are presented as units. So total there are 38 topics which includes 100 units. So section 1 is on health and its determinants. So this has two parts health and its determinants. The health part includes concept of health, concept of disease, disease prevention and health promotion and also communication for health. The second part that is determinants of health, it includes social and behavioral sciences, environment and nutrition. The second section is on epidemiology. So this also has two parts, general epidemiology and disease epidemiology. The general epidemiology part describes principles and applications of epidemiology and epidemiological research. And the disease epidemiology includes the communicable and non-communicable diseases that are public health problems. And along with that, the relevant national health programs are also described in detail. Section 3 is on care of the vulnerable population. So this too has two parts. The first part is on women and children that comprises of a very vulnerable section of the population. And the second part is on other vulnerable population that is geriatric population and those which are exposed to occupational hazards. Section 4 is on management in health. So this includes general health management, international health, healthcare delivery system in the country, public health emergency and essential medicines. Section 5 is the practical part. First part is case examination which includes examination of under 5 children and examination of adult population. And the second part is spot specimens. So this includes specimens on immunization, family planning and those related to national health programs. This picture depicts the discipline of community medicine. So here you can see it is a community that is shown. There are trees, there is a field, there are birds flying and you can see there is a health center. And you can see a couple going to the health center for seeking treatment. On this side in front you can see a lady in blue. She is a community level health worker and she is talking to the community, interacting with the population, with the people of the community. And she is giving them health messages to raise their awareness, giving health talks. So this is a health education program in the community. So this is a typical picture how community medicine discipline delivers its service in the community. And this message here, it is the crux of the discipline. That is, we aim to enable the people, the population to take responsibility of their own health. So welcome to the e-learning series. I'm sure you will enjoy the series and I hope you learn a lot from it. Thank you.